Hey everybody, HMAC here, back with another Valheim guide. Today we're going over exactly how to find, capture, and tame your very own two-star wolf. This guide can be used for any level wolf, but I'm going to go over why you need two-star wolves later on. Before we get into the video, I want to thank everyone for the support on my last upload. If you missed it, I covered everything you need to know about building after the update on Monday, so I'll link it in the description. It was our best performing video to date, and I just want to thank all the new subscribers, along with my day ones, and anyone who just likes checking out these videos. Please slap a like on the bird chest if you enjoy this content and want to see more videos like this. It really does help. With all that said, let's get into the video. The first step in finding and taming a two-star wolf is going to a mountain biome near your main base. Finding a plot of land just outside of it, ideally in the meadows or black forest, and digging a hut and a hole. Yup, you're just gonna put up a small hut with a campfire nearby. It doesn't have to hold anything besides a bed, really, but if you wanna make it pretty, go right ahead. I mean, that's one of my favorite things about Valheim, just building, so have at it. Next step, though, take your pickaxe and dig a hole that's at least two full length walls deep. You should extend this out a little so there's some breathing room, and ideally, you'd create a cluster of these holes. Here, I made a couple, and you'll see I make some minor adjustments over the course of the video, but for your purposes, I want you to make two deep nearby holes. After your holes are dug, you're going to explore the mountain biome you built a small camp by. You can do this either by taking a frost resistance potion, which gives you freeze immunity for 10 minutes, or by wearing a wolf or lox cape. I'm wearing a wolf cape and my best armor here, and I'd recommend you do the same. While I'm in the mountain biome, I'm looking for wolf spawn locations. When you see three or four wolves clumped in a group, mark the locations they're standing on your map. This is a spot where wolves will always spawn, so when you come back, they should respawn right there. Don't worry about keeping any alive right now, you're just doing research. After you've marked several spawn locations, aggro a wolf onto you. They'll aggro as long as you get close enough, and they will stay aggroed as long as you're close enough and they don't get distracted. If a wolf becomes distracted by, well, let's say a boar, let them kill it and then shoot an arrow in their direction. They'll regain the aggro onto you. Throughout this process, I shot several arrows to keep the aggro. Bring your regular wolf back and jump in one of your holes when he gets close to you. He may not follow you in the first time, but that's okay. Just jump out and get him to attack you again. Eventually he will fall down and you just hit control to sneak away. Your cursor will indicate when it has lost aggro on you. Sneak back up to the hole, drop meat in there, and your wolf will tame as long as you're nearby and it isn't aggroed. So now you have a standard wolf taming, but you want a two star. They work the same way as regular wolves with one small difference. They only spawn at night. Another difference, I guess, is two stars do twice as much damage as no stars, as is the case for every creature in the star system so you'll want to be even more careful than you were before. Days last 21 minutes in Valheim, but night is only 9 minutes, so you won't have much time to search for your 2-star. To make the best use of your time, you can sleep in your bed to reset the day, farm for 21 minutes by using a timer, and then search the entire 9-minute night. Make sure you go out rested and have the Ekthir ability available. Once it's night, Go to the wolf spawn locations you marked and try to check what stars have spawned from afar. You can do this if you're within range and have your cursor directly over a wolf. If you find a two star, you will want to kill the rest of the wolves first, trust me. This is best by shooting them with your bow from afar. Be careful not to shoot your two star, but it will have a lot of health and shouldn't die from one shot from any bow. Once you have your two star isolated, Activate your Ekthir ability and aggro it onto you. Then just follow the same method as described before with your standard wolf. A word of advice, you'll want to eat your best food first and make sure you're never too low on stamina. Remember to keep the aggro on you. Turn your camera and look back to make sure it doesn't wander off. And remember that you may need to jump in your hole a few times before it will follow you in. When your two star is in the hole, same as before. Just drop that raw meat in there and wait nearby. Two-star wolves will take longer to tame than your no-star wolf, 
and you have to be nearby to accomplish any taming, so I would sit in my hut and do something else during this process, like checking out another video of mine, my tallest build perhaps. You'll want to make sure you're not being attacked by anything while AFK, but you really can't do much else besides sit there and watch some more HMAC. Once you've tamed your two star, just pull out your pickaxe and connect the two holes. Make sure you throw in a lot of raw meat and you'll have two star cubs in no time. You don't have to do this, but during the process, you'll either get a standard cub or a Chad two star cub. There is absolutely, absolutely no point in breeding and keeping standard wolves, besides how I've used them in this process, as standard wolves are worse in every single way. Standard wolves have a 40% chance of dropping one raw meat and one wolf fang. They also only drop one wolf pelt. A two-star wolf, however, drops four raw meat, four wolf fangs, and four wolf pelts 100% of the time. Standard wolves have 80 health and do 70 slash damage, while two-star wolves have 240 health and do 140 slash damage. Because of these reasons, two-star wolves are so, so, so much more efficient to breed and better at defending you and your base. Also, they're like red and are physically bigger, so that's, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna continue this series with a guide for building the best two-star wolf breeder. Here's a little preview for those who stuck around to the end. Okay, that's enough. If you wanna see how to do that for yourself, you'll just have to check out the next video in this series. And for anyone who isn't confident that they could do this, I just want to share that I found and tamed no star wolves before even beating the third boss. I did this just by using frost resistance potions and being careful. So if you are at all interested in taming a wolf, even if it's not a two star, I totally encourage you to at least try. It never hurts to try in this game and life. So give it your all. If you've made it this far, I want you to comment the name you're going to give your first two-star wolf. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. This was HMAC, signing off.